asking, hey, what's up, guys? Are you newly diagnosed with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis? Are you or a loved one newly diagnosed with an IBD? Are you stressed and confused? Are you wondering what your options are? What now? I want to say right from the beginning, if you're feeling this, I can only imagine that you're going through a hard time right now. You're feeling hopeless. You have no idea what to do. I know what it feels like because close to 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with a severe severe IBD or actually diagnosed with two IBDs known as severe Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. I remember getting diagnosed and it was probably one of the most stressful things that I've ever experienced because it's frustrating and you go home and you look on Google and you see what the symptoms are. You sort of see what the forecast of the disease is and what you have to look forward to. And it's, it's daunting. It's completely, it's completely stressful. It just makes you feel like you experience this overwhelming sense of anxiety and depression because it looks like you have nothing to look forward to. I remember being this dude that was fit and healthy. I had everything going for me in my life. Then I got a side swipe and I got diagnosed with this disease or both these diseases. I lost 60 plus pounds. I didn't even recognize the dude that looked back at me in the mirror. You know, I was yeah, completely, completely stressed. I felt suicidal. All those side effects to getting diagnosed with the disease and just being confused and not knowing what to do. So if you're watching this video and that's what you're going through and that's what you're feeling, I want to urge you not, not to do anything rash and not to, you know, just to calm down a little bit and look for some of the options. Because even though it can be a little daunting right now and it can be scary, never in time have there been so many options and so many things that are available to you to overcome your disease. So many people are doing various protocols, whether it's supplements and diets to overcome their disease and like achieve lasting remission. Like when I first started, it was like, there was no, even the internet, the, the internet existed, but it wasn't so easy to use. You can hop on YouTube and you can find anybody's story of how they achieved remission, whether it's Crohn's disease, colitis, cancer, diabetes, you name it. You're finding more and more people that have overcome severe diseases and that are now living awesome lives. Diets. Now, nowadays, it seems like we have so many options available available to us. It could be the SCD diet, it could be GAPS, it could be paleo, it could be intermittent fasting, it could be keto, it could be a raw vegan diet, you name it. There are so many people using a variety of tactics to achieve remission with an IBD. So if you're feeling scared, ultimately, I know it can be scary, but I wouldn't worry about it because you can implement some pretty crazy changes to make you feel awesome. So I'm saying just don't stress out right now. Look at your options. Go search on YouTube. Find people that achieved remission using a variety of strategies. See what they did. Try to implement those strategies. Try to see if you can make switches so that you can achieve good health. You know, and I'm not telling anybody to not take medication because if that's the route you want to go, take that route. Do anything that you want to do. I'm just telling you that you have a lot of options at your disposal. You don't have to be scared and you don't have to, you know, just feel completely hopeless because yeah coming from a guy that's telling you my experience about being diagnosed with you know severe Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and being at the worst point in my life where I lost 60 pounds and felt suicidal and just felt hopeless you know I'm telling you now that I've been in remission for almost a decade and I say that not to be arrogant but just to show you that it's possible for a lot of people and when I first was diagnosed and felt hopeless, I remember speaking with somebody and a woman told me that she was in remission for 20 years. And that was really the game changer that made me think that I could also achieve long-term remission. You know, so realize there are other people doing it. There are other people succeeding and people just living amazing lives. So don't feel like you have to be one of those people that can't do that because even the most severe cases can be turned around and you can just live an awesome, healthy life. You know, so... Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. If you guys have any questions or concerns, leave a comment. Or if you want to talk about your experience of being diagnosed or one of your loved ones, leave a comment. See if we can help you. We can work as a community to sort of, you know, improve things. You can also check out my free guide. It gives a lot of like tactics and, you know, some of the diets and things that are available to people. You know, make your own decisions. Do what feels right within you. I'm not telling anybody how to act and what to do. Just do what feels best for you. Thanks so much for, for watching this. I appreciate it, guys, and I wish you nothing but the best, guys. Cheers. Are you tired of feeling crappy? Get my free healing guide. 
tips, tweaks, and hacks, click the description for more information.